Your odds of being hit by a falling meteorite from space are 1 in 2.6 million. Is that real? Whoa. That's real. Meanwhile, your odds of winning the Powerball jackpot? Yeah. 1 in 300 million. Oh my oh, god. Wow. <laughs> but Show me meteor then. There's yeah, a cosmic event that's even less likely to happen than both of those. What's that? What? It's finding the perfect roommate. Uh. Wow. <laughs> But miraculously, one of our listeners says he actually did it. Wow. He really? found the ideal person to share his apartment with. Dang. And things have been incredible. That's great. Good. Go get yourself a lotto ticket. Until yeah. the other night happened uh -oh. when his roommate was getting ready to go out on a date and suddenly everything changed. Now he has no choice but to confront them directly and uh -oh. handle this very complicated situation in your brand new Awkward Tuesday phone call. It's coming up <laughs> next. It's Awkward. It's Tuesday. It's Awkward Tuesday phone call. Brooke, other than yeah. your husband or family members, okay. who is the best roommate that you've ever had? Oh, Ooh. oh gosh. I, my girlfriend's going to be mad at me, but Megan. Oh, I had a lot of good her? roommates. Megan, also, I love you so, so, so very I much. I said choose one. Uh, Megan, yeah, no, you lose tried. this to yeah. Megan. I Megan mean, listen, Megan? Megan is an amazing cook, you guys. Oh. And living oh. with an amazing cook is it's nice like... nice to come home to good food. Yeah, yeah um, seriously. That's a lot different than Alexis, because she's been telling us behind the scenes that she hates all of her current roommates. <laughs> who are, they're Even jealous the of her success and yeah. her oh. fake blonde hair. That is why. She also has fake blonde hair, okay? No, not as she fake as yours. She probably admitted it. No, no, I didn't mean that. Alexis <laughs> hopes that they're all listening to this right no. now and know their place. Too. <laughs> well, okay. someone says that he's recently found his favorite roommate, but he's been struggling with something lately, and that's uh -oh. why he needs mm. our help today. His name is Ty. So, Ty, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. Oh, hey, hey Ty. How long have you been living with your roommate? Um, It's been about half a year. Oh, not very okay. long. Recent? Okay. It is so yeah. interesting what you learn about people when you live with them. It mm -hmm. is, I mean, they could be your best friends in the whole world and you still don't know them the same yep. as when uh -huh. you're roomies. <laughs> yeah, tell us about him. Yeah, uh, it's actually a she. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. So, about her then. Yeah, it's been a great situation. She's been like a really chill roommate. She's... Okay. Were you guys friends? How did you guys? Well, can we know her name? Oh. So we can stop calling her. Oh, yeah, that's her name is Julia. Julia. Julia? Okay. Yeah, just... Tell us about Julia. Uh, you couldn't really ask for a better roommate. She's Aww. just been really kind of chill, clean, considerate. Um, we, we just get along great. Nice. How did you meet her before you guys lived together? We kind of linked up off of uh, like a roommate search type apartment oh. thing on Facebook. Oh. Okay, so you guys were like, I mean, man, that's luck. That's risky. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it was kind of unplanned. Like, a lot of people look for the same sex roommate, but we were just kind of whatever about it, and it happened to work out. Yeah, I okay. lived with some dudes for a while that I met off Craigslist. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> What's funny? Man. No, they were actually really successful in life, and I was the one that was renting the basement bedroom. I would So love I her. was the creepy one in the basement. I want to yeah. get them on the phone yeah. and ask about yeah. old rooms. I mean, none of oh. that surprises me whatsoever <laughs> yeah, that I Brooke know. lived in the basement. But, Ty, what's the issue? You said that there was something you're struggling with. So about a month ago, we were kind of laughing in the kitchen, you know, just talking and drinking some coffee. Yeah. Uh -huh. And... I don't, I don't really know how it happened. I just looked at her and I, I oh, thought, no. like, uh -uh. I thought, wow, she's just so oh. naturally pretty. Like, oh, no. No, what? No. What's wrong with that? No. Don't make a move on your uh -uh. roommate. Yeah. He didn't make a move. No. He thought she was pretty so? in his no. own head. Uh, yeah, we know where this is going. going. <laughs> yes. He's got an issue and it's awkward and this is the start of it. He's probably going to set her up with his like cute older no. brother. <laughs> Do you hear the tone of his voice? Is that what you did? No. <laughs> oh, dude, uh, come on now. Jeff is shocked. <laughs> come on, buddy. Oh, dude. What, what happened? happened? The first thing I did was try and get that thought out of my head because mm -hmm. I know how ugly things could get. Yep. But she was going out on a date, mm -hmm. and she just, uh, she looked really good. Oh, oh God. No. Oh, See? Boy. And then when you deny it, it's even stronger. Like <laughs> She has to tag along on that yeah. date just, oh, just in case. <laughs> as much as I tried to not think about it, I was 
super jealous. Oh, yeah. here we go. Did That's bring tough, back? man. That's tougher. <laughs> oh, that is a good point, Alexis. <laughs> I mean, at this point, what do you do? So as much as I don't want to poop where I eat, I realize Ew. that I... <laughs> Let's not use that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a common term. <laughs> I mean, I get oh. it. I get it. Yeah. So then what'd you realize? I realized that I, I have to say something or it's just going to drive me crazy. Yeah. And mm. I'm really, really worried about having that conversation. I don't want to ruin the roommate bond, but I can't kind of live in silence. Okay. So I kind of need advice. Let's be hopeful here. You know, like maybe this could be amazing. Maybe it could be the start of a beautiful romance. You know, history has not taught us that so far in anybody's lives. But (laughs) can you tell if she has a crush on you? Does she think you look pretty while you drink coffee? (laughs) (laughs) I honestly have no idea. Okay. (sighs) I mean, at this point, it's kind of like Ty has nothing else to lose. Yeah. You have to say something. You can't live that way and, like, stuff your emotions down forever. Can I ask this? How long is a lease? Oh, yeah. I was going to say, worst thing that could happen is you lose half your rent. I just need to know, rent. like, how long y'all have to live together if this turns messy. Because Brooke wants to move in with you next. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a year lease, so okay. we would have up to six months. Oh, okay. God. So what you're looking for us is a little bit of advice to call this roommate and just come clean and tell her how you really feel? Yeah, like, I at least want the conversation to go as well as it can. Okay. Okay. Have you right. pre-packed your boxes just in case? <laughs> yeah. It's not bad. Maybe I should. Okay. But we're, we're going to come in with a little bit more of a positive attitude. There's a chance that she feels exactly the I same way that. and is too scared to tell you. God, I feel awkward already about it. Okay. That sort of attitude not doesn't mindset. help. Okay. You need something better okay. than that. We'll come back, yeah. give you our advice, and let you make your awkward Tuesday phone call to your roommate to let her know how you really feel about her. Oh, boy. Right after this, all right? Sounds good. <laughs> okay. No. Hold on, man. It's awkward. It's Tuesday. It's awkward Tuesday phone call. Don't have a lot of time to recap here, but in a nutshell, Mm -hmm. our listener Ty suddenly fell in love with his female roommate, Julia. Aww. Yeah. Two birds. Suddenly. I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. I hear the music. (laughs) Ty tried not to have feelings, but he couldn't help it. Yeah. And they still have six months left on their lease together. So Uh he decided he needs to just come clean and tell her how he feels. Rip the Band-Aid off. But doesn't want to make it too awkward. Right. Yeah, that's the hard part. And Alexis is the only one of us that currently has roommates. Sometimes guys will stay over that she wants to secretly steal away from them. (laughs) At least that's what you said behind the scenes. Honestly, it's a compliment. saying she has good taste. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Good point. Exactly. (laughs) So maybe Alexis is the best person to give some advice in this situation. What do you think, Alexis? I don't know. I'm like a little hopeful, actually. No, not a little. Sorry. I am hopeful for you. Because it kind of reminds me of like new girl vibes. You know, the TV Mm. show? Yeah. It's like guys and girls living together. And like I skipped a bunch of episodes, but I'm pretty sure they Uh end up together in the end. Okay. okay, this is a good recap of a TV show. Yes, What's your yeah. advice? Well, whatever happens in the middle, which I didn't watch. But, Brooke, have you seen the show? Maybe yeah. you know what oh, happens. Okay. What okay. they do to get there? This is real <laughs> life, Alexis. Good advice. Ty, can you watch New Girl in, like, super fast speed? Yeah. If you want me to kill myself. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, that is a good show. Not everybody's a fan. All right, Brooke, maybe uh, you have some advice for well, him. I think you got to remember, your roommate, I don't think, probably has ever thought of you in this way. We're Ooh. not getting into a relationship here. We are planting a seed. We are getting her to even think of you in a romantic mm. way. So I think you need to come at it like, Fun and playful and conversational, not like, yeah. not hard. Not no, like, sorry to cut you off. That's yeah. exactly what I was going to say. I mean, you cannot make it sound super serious. Be as casual as you can. And that way, even if it goes wrong, it's just a casual yeah, combo. It's fine. Oh, you just you brush know, it off. I do this all the time. What do you think, Ty? I like you, but it's just fun. casually. I mean, but fu- I really, a, like, you. really in, like you, but I don't really care. Really casual. In a fun, <laughs> fun, funny way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do my best. Okay. Sounds easy okay. enough. Sounds yeah. like you lot. got sounds like you got your humor pants on. <laughs> <laughs> humor <What>? pants. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Oh, no. Don't bring humor pants anywhere near this conversation with her. I would ask Brooke to her. take her humor pants off, but she would. Yeah, no, she actually I wear mine all the time. All right. <laughs> Ty, that's like what we got for you, man. Good luck. Brazier. We're going to dial your roommate and let you take over the conversation. We'll jump in if we feel like you need a little help, all right? I'm kind of nervous, but I think I can do it. Okay. Remember, the show ended successfully. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, maybe yeah. don't think about yeah. the new girl. I think I got right, Here we go. <laughs> dial the number right now.
Hello? Hey. Hi? Yeah, what's up? How you doing? Oh, hey. <laughs> I didn't recognize the number. Sorry. Oh, oh. Got a new phone or something? <laughs> uh. You at work or? Uh, I, I, no, I'm, 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 I'm good. I just now having a coffee, coffee break. Uh, oh, well, I'm actually glad that you called. I've got some stuff I needed to talk to you about. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, the other night I borrowed one of your shirts. <laughs> oh yeah, I do have good taste in clothes. <laughs> I, I bet you look cute in them. Oh, well, it wasn't for me. <laughs> You know, that guy I brought over the other night, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, somehow I kind of ripped his shirt off. So I went, I went to give him one of yours. It, just like a plain white tee, you know, I hope that's okay. Uh, sure, yeah, I, I, I guess as long as he uh, brings it back. Yeah, he's actually coming over tonight, so I'll make sure he brings it. Oh, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, and um, since he is coming by, I was wondering if, like, between, like, maybe, like, 9 to 11, maybe, like, not be there or just, like, be in your room. <laughs> uh, what? Is that okay? No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just going to pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> what? Why? Um, what are you talking <clears throat> about? I think uh I think you and I are are, are good friends and, and we've been uh roommates for what now six months? Yeah, like six months. Uh, well but where's it's, this going? It's uh <laughs> it's difficult for me to say this but because I don't uh I don't wanna ruin <laughs> what we have already. Uh oh, what do you mean? Uh I uh I really like you. Oh, well, I like you too. <laughs> no, I really like you like more than a roommate. Wait, what? I, w I wanted to tell you the truth because it's kind of, it's kind of killing me to see you with that other guy. And uh, Oh my God, stop. You like girls? Oh, what? Oh. oh my gosh. Wait. <laughs> what do you mean? The light Hello? I like girls. Oh, Hi. Yeah. oh let, let, no. Let's hold that thought for a second. <laughs> Julia. Wait, what is all this? Hey, you're on the radio right now with Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Oh, no. Oh, my God. We're doing a oh. segment on our show, Julia. It's called the Awkward Tuesday Phone Call. Ty needed our help reaching out to you. Yeah, because he has feelings for you, and he... Thanks, you're wonderful. Mm -hmm. Oh. Wait, you're, you're, you're telling me you didn't think I was into girls? You thought I liked guys? <laughs> I don't know. I. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. Why would you think that? Oh, and we're on the radio. I don't think you want to ask that, Ty. I don't think you want that answer. I'm curious to know. I don't know. I, I, he, he, you know, you dress really nice, and you have that big poster of Adam Levine in your room. Um, so. no. Oh. That's who doesn't? Right? No, a lot of people no. don't. Well, no, I'm just kidding. Depends which one. <laughs> it's Maroon 5. They're a great band. Oh, it's not just uh, Adam. Oh. Uh, it's Okay. Well, songs about Jane, solid album. But yeah. since then, uh... but Adam is shirtless in the picture, so I. <laughs> His defense, Adam's always shirtless. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm with Jose on that one. Uh, oh, so, so what? I'm not focused on Adam. I, I like the music. You know that. Okay, now <laughs> that is a little. Yeah, no, I'm kidding. Okay. That's fine. That's yeah. all fine. Yeah. I mean, and also what she thought is fine. Now she knows that that's not true. Let's not focus so much on the yeah. very sexy photo of Adam Levine that's hanging up in <laughs> Ty's room right now. Yeah. I, let's bring the conversation back to the feelings that are happening. Which is obviously, oh. I mean, you did not see this coming, obviously, Julia. No. I mean, but maybe you could start to think of him in a different way. I mean, that's just hard. We watch baseball together. He makes comments about, like, how tight their pants are. 
Well, I mean, they're athletes. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's one I, pitcher that I love that I'm like, dude, this guy, how is he breathing? His pants are so tight. Yeah. yeah you guys sure. know Robbie Ray. Lot of look him up. Robbie Ray, look him up. It's very bro talking. Yeah. That's, what we, that's what we say and to I, each I, other. I thought we were bonding over cute guys. Oh, oh okay. I see. thought we were bonding over cute guys? Uh, <laughs> but look at that. No toxic masculinity with this guy. There you yeah. know, that yeah. is a positive, Julia. Mm-hmm. I bet the other guy whose shirt you ripped off the other night, tons of it. I bet he has got tons of it. We don't like that guy. No, no. we don't no. like that. That's no. not good for a long-term yeah. relationship. Yeah. So you're saying, like, you've like-liked me this whole time? Well, not, not this whole time, but... The other night when you left Ooh. your date with that guy. But. And we don't have to go into the whole story about it. And and look, we're not trying to put any pressure on you here no. to like say definitively, yes, give Ty a shot. But mm-hmm. maybe it's something that you need to think about a little bit. Have a discussion with Ty privately. Oh, my God. Yeah, of course. I mean, we, we definitely have to now. I Things are definitely awkward. Oh, so. no. no, that's not awkward. Have you ever seen the show New Girl? Maybe you guys need to watch that. <laughs> Thank you. It is a great show. <laughs> a lot of good stuff happens in it. Uh, you know, I, I just hope that we can talk about it. And if you're not cool with it, you know, it's totally fine with me. Okay. Oh. See, that's okay. a good mature attitude. Exactly. Okay, yeah. Um, I'll try to find some time, you know, later today. Maybe we can talk before my, my date tonight. Oh, God. Oh, oh you're right. just going to cancel oh, that? You're still going to see I would that not guy. come to oh. that. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely not be at the apartment, Ty. Yeah. Uh, thanks for mentioning that again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>